All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're going over the Shared Skies season in Pokemon Go. Now, this season is happening from June 1st up till September 3rd. And these are both at 10 a.m. Now, the seasonal bonuses are actually insane for this event. So you have one additional special trade per day. That's 180 over the entire season. You have an increased chance of getting exile candy when walking with your buddy. And an increased XP for the first catch of the day. That one's not really that great. Um, then we have Dustmane Necrozma and Dawnwings Necrozma coming out at GoFest with the debut of Necrozma and its shiny form as well. So definitely keep an, get, keep an eye out for this one while you're doing GoFest and try and get that shiny while you can. I do think when Niantic bring out a new Pokemon, I don't think it should come with its shiny. I think it really does get rid of all the hype around it coming back because the shiny most people have by then. So I do think that's a bit of a mistake, but obviously they're trying to keep people on the game as it is lacking in content. Now, Marshadow will be making its debut at all the in-person events, and then if you do catch one there, you won't get it at the Global. You'll get candy, just like with the Diancy. Or if you don't go to the in-person events and you go to the Global event, you'll be able to get it there with a ticket. Now, the Research Breakthrough Box is having some... Uh, switch around with the Pokemon, so you have Hisuian Growlithe, Larvitar, Audino, Akshu, Furfu, and Jangmoto. There is two Megas there in Larvitar and Audino, so I'm happy with them being there. Trying to get an dis additional Shiny if you don't have them, um, just for your Mega Collection. Now the spawns in cities are going to be Magneton, Houndour, Ralt, Makuhita, Skitty, Trubbish, and Dedenne. Obviously plus whatever event is happening at the time. In Forest, you'll get Bellsprout, Ledabur, Sunken, Linoon, Breloom, Skaroopy, and Fungus. Moving on to the Mountains, you'll get Diglett, Shuckle, Slackoff, Vibrava, Excadrill, Dwebble, and Bunnelby. In Water, so at Beaches, Lakes, that kind of thing, you'll have Poliwhirl, Horsey, Chinchow, Surskit, Finian, Timpole, and Jellicent. And then in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll get Hisuian Growlithe, Skarmory, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Clampill, and Beldum. And in the Southern Hemisphere, you'll get Cypher, Hisuian Sneasel, Bagon, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplip, and Bronzor. Moving on to the Egg Pool that hasn't really changed that much. So you have in Turkey Egg, Shelda, Pichu, Togepi, Smoochum, and Woobat. 5k, so we get a Vanillite, Cutify, Sprigatito, Quakoko, and Quaxley. And then from Adventure Sync, you'll be getting Gligar, Cranido, Shieldon, Chingling, and Mantike. In 7k, you'll be getting a Lolan Geodude. Galarian Slowpoke, Galarian Farfetch'd, Alolan Grimer, and Galarian Stunfisk. And then if you do get one from Root, you'll be getting Hisuian Growlithe, Paldean Wooper, Pal uh, Hisuian Sneasel, Pornyard, and Carbink. In 10k, you'll be getting Tyrant, Amora, Carbink, Gumi, and Charcadet. The Gumi's not that important, and we'll go over why in a second. And then in the Adventure Sync, you'll be getting Emolga, Dino, Gumi, Rockruff, and Turtonator. Now, Gumi being involved in the 10 kegs there isn't great because they're going to have a higher weight as soon as the Com Day comes out, which isn't going to be great because you could get a shiny here and then two weeks later it's made redundant. Moving on to the free monthly time research. During each month, there will be a free monthly time research, so definitely keep on your events tabs to make sure you do get these time research done. There is going to be some new stickers as well as per on screen there, but. I'm not really a big sticker person, so we shall move on there. Um, but overall, the main ones obviously being GoFest and this. That is massive. So on a com day, you can trade three special trades, which should be insane. If you have a lot of lucky friends or just friends in general that you wanted to trade your legendaries over for because they have one you want, that kind of thing, this is the time to do it. You can most likely get a few luckies as well if you have any best friends. So definitely keep that in mind. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you are excited for this season. If you are going to be playing it. And also, what you think of GoFest. And do you think that Necrozma should have been debuted as a shiny or not? 